Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create flight animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. I'm going to use flight animation effect to tell a small story, a fictitious story of course. The story goes like this. Recently, we went on a round trip across US to visit a couple of interesting places. First, we started from our home at Arizona. Then we flew all the way to Arkansas to see Hot Springs National Park. And once we finished visiting the park, we decided to go to South Dakota to see Mount Rushmore National Memorial. And once we finished visiting the beautiful memorial, we decided to go back to our home, which is at Arizona. So how did you like the beautiful flight animation effect? Interesting, isn't it? Let me show you how to create this beautiful flight animation effect from scratch. Now I'm going to keep things simple. I'm going to have a flight icon appear, go in a straight line, and then it is going to come back to its original position. So I'm going to keep that very simple so you understand the principle. And once you understand that principle, you will be able to create this kind of animation very easily. So let us go to a new slide. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing we require is the flight icon. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu and pick up a simple text box. Let me go to Insert. Go to Symbol. Under Wingdings font, there are quite a few fonts you might have in your computer. Go for Wingdings font. And there you will see this icon called Flight icon. So you can select that and insert and then close. Now, if you want this to be fairly big, all you need to do is to select the bounding box, go to home, and maybe you can increase the size to say around 88. Now that looks fairly decent size. If you want this to be converted into a shape, all you need to do is to go to uh, the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle on top of this, select both the shapes, go to format, merge shapes, and click on fragment option and you remove this. Now you have the shape which can al always be uh, changed the way you want. So I can add maybe a black color to this one and remove the outline. Now we have done the first bit which is we have created the flight icon. The next step is to define point A. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the oval tool and I'm going to draw a circle and the circle is going to be our point A. Then we are going to define the path to point B. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the line tool and I'm going to draw a line which is a straight line. And I'm going to keep this line fairly thick. So I'm going to go to Shape Outline and say weight is six points. I'm going to right click on this, go to Format Shape and maybe I can add a compound type here. So maybe I can add this one called Double. And to make it a little more interesting, let me go to Effects and add some glow here. The preset I'm going to use is this one called Glow 11 Point Blue Accent Color 5. Now we have defined the path. Then we need to define point B. So I'm going to select this, hold the control button down as I move this to its new location. And that creates a copy. Now we have point B and let me move this front. So I'm going to right click and say bring to front. So we have point A the path and point B. And now we have a flight icon. Let me make a copy of this, press Ctrl D and that will allow me to have a copy of this. And let me give this a different color. You will understand the reason why we have a different color a little later. So I'm going to give this violet color. Now we have all the shapes that are required to create the basic flight animation. Now let me close this one and go to Animations tab and keep the animation pane open so you can follow every single animation that I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is to have point A enter the scene. So I have selected that and let me add zoom animation. So point A enters the scene. Then we are going to have the flight enter the scene as well. So I'm going to place this right on top of the previous one. Naturally, I need to bring it to front and then place it here. So we have our flight at point A and it is going to enter with a simple fade animation. So the second animation is also ready. Then the third animation is this flight is going to move from here all the way here. So let us go to add animation option, go to more motion paths under lines and curves. You would be able to see the animation called right and you click on it and say, okay, hold the shift button down as you move the end point, which is defined by the red dot there. You move it to the point where the point B starts. So 
we have made that uh, extension now it starts from here and it moves here beautiful now we don't want smooth start and smooth end which comes as a standard affair with this motion path so i'm going to click on this and click on the small arrow here and go to effect options and i'm going to say smooth start and smooth end as zero so the movement is fairly smooth beautiful now as you can see here the flight enters the scene with a fade and we need to have the movement happen right after that so we are going to say after previous and now we have got the second animation done now as it moves from point a to point b we want the flight path also to move uh, to appear so we are going to apply entrance animation to the flight path which is going to be a simple wipe animation and it is going to be from left so i went to effect options and said from left and this is going to be of the same duration as the flight movement so we are going to say since this is two seconds we are going to increase this to two seconds and we are going to have this with previous and once this reaches the destination we are going to have point b enter the scene so we are going to give the same zoom animation to this one and this is going to happen after previous so far all we have done is we have on a click point a enter the scene then on a click flight enters the scene and then we are going to have this move and while it moves we are going to have the flight path also wipe in and once the destination is reached point b is going to enter the scene so we have done this much now there is a small trick that i'm going to do which is i am going to have this second flight icon which is in purple color placed exactly where the previous animation ends and that is because as this comes and reaches point b i want it to disappear so i'm going to say add animation and disappear and while this disappears we want the new one to appear so i'm going to say add animation and say appear so as you can see here there is a disappearance of black and appearance of this purple and naturally the way that it needs to be is after it reaches point b it needs to disappear so i'm going to move this slightly up and say after previous and while this black one disappears the purple one needs to appear so i'm going to move this right next to the previous one and say with previous and only then we are going to have point b enter the scene now let us see how this whole thing plays let us go to slideshow mode on a click point a appears then flight appears and it moves to point b and as you can see here as it reaches the place the old one has gone and the new one has appeared and then we have the point b enter the scene so far what we have done is the first leg of the animation the second leg is extremely easy all we need to do is to animate this purple flight icon so i'm going to select that i'm going to add animation go to spin animation and it should not spin all the way like this we are going to change that so let us go to the small arrow right next to that animation event go to effect options i want this to go only till 180 degrees so 180 degrees clockwise and i'm going to say okay and now you can see that it is going to turn to face the other side and then i'm going to add a motion path animation so let us go to add animation more motion paths and let us go all the way down from in lines and curves and you can see that there is this option called left animation and i'm going to say okay i'm going to extend the animation uh, path so i'm going to hold the shift button down as i click on the red uh, button here and i'm going to move this all the way till the beginning position of the previous animation and this is going to happen after previous that is it now observe in slideshow mode point a and then flight moves reaches point b switch happens and then it turns around and then it goes all the way and reaches the starting point that's it now there is a small little uh, niggle you can see and that is the way in which uh the trail effect is seen is slightly a lag so usually what happens is even though you have the same duration for the motion path animation and the wipe animation it is essential that you need to make the motion path animation slightly faster so we are going to have instead of 2 seconds we are going to have this as say 1.75 seconds so the flight animation and the wipe animation match so when you go here 
earlier you had a bit of a trail effect you can see now that the wiping happens far more smoothly and then it turns around and then it goes back to its original position now once you understand how to create this basic animation you would be able to create any kind of flight animation you require now there are only two things that are different in this animation compared to the one that i had taught you the first one is instead of using a straight line animation like the one that i had used earlier i have used a curved animation and all i have done is i have selected this particular uh, icon and i used a type of animation called motion path animation in custom path so custom path motion animation and that allows me to draw the motion path to match the line here so that is the first difference the second difference is while this moves i have also added a spin animation so it rotates therefore the angle is far more realistic you can see here this goes in flight in uh, motion path animation and while it is happening it is also getting a spin animation so that the movement is fairly smooth so that is the way you create this beautiful flight animation effect once you create this beautiful flight animation and show it to your audience you will see the kind of surprise in their faces and when you get applause please share your happiness in the comments column below i'll be more happy than you yourself are because i want you to be awesome in powerpoint hey did you like the video if yes please click on the red subscribe button that you see down below the video to the left here you see having good slides to present is like wearing a good suit in the boardroom you automatically feel more confident and sound more convincing you know what you don't need to be a powerpoint ninja to create great looking slides like this you just need to know a few simple techniques to significantly improve the look and feel of your business slides in ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program i teach you those surprisingly simple yet creative powerpoint techniques that took me years to discover through painful trial and error method Once you know the techniques you will realize how easy it is to make great looking slides like this in the same time it takes to create mediocre looking slides like this so please click on the link in the description area below this video to see how ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program can change the way you create your business slides forever and to get a feel for how simple techniques can make a massive impact on your slides i invite you to join our free mini training The training is called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas Course. It is an email training that gives you easy ideas you can implement in your next business presentation. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. So please click on the button here and I'll see you inside the course.